What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry for the late upload, but it's okay. We are here. And I have some important news for you guys, okay? There's a lot of things going on with Detroit Lions with injuries right now on the injury report, so I have to give you guys that. And I also have to talk to you a little bit about how this running back situation is going to play out. So let's get it started. First off, the first thing I have is that Mike Daniels has been downgraded to out for the Lions game versus the Raiders. Now, this isn't really surprising. Mike Daniels hasn't played in a long time. It's unfortunate, but it's not really surprising. I was kind of expecting this. I wasn't really expecting him to play. It would have been awesome to see him out there, but obviously he's not. But we do have Deshaun Hand back, and that was very helpful last week. If we could finally get Mike Daniels back, it would be great because his defensive line would be pretty much at full strength, and that would be awesome, I mean, other than Austin Bryant. So that would be very helpful, but again, he's out. He's been downgraded out, and so has Graham Glasgow. Now, now, this is actually kind of a big one. Graham Glasgow, I would say he might be our most reliable offensive lineman for the last few years because Rag Ragnall is kind of young, but he's maybe our best offensive lineman. But Graham Glasgow is one of those really reliable offensive linemen that we have, but he's been now graded to out as well. But the good thing is we have two guards that have rotated all year. So these two guards, Joe Dahl and Kenny Wiggins, have both rotated all year. So they both got in playing time, so they're both used to being in this situation where they have to start, which is a very good thing. So it's most likely Kenny Wiggins will play the right guard position, and Joe Dahl will sit at that left guard position. So I'm not too worried about that guard position I'm still pretty confident even though Kenny Wiggins is probably gonna have to start there and I think the Lions are as well they didn't make any drastic moves to go get another offensive lineman after they knew he was out okay because they knew he was dealing with an injury he was dealing with that back injury but now he's been downgraded out but I'm still pretty confident in our guards hopefully they can step up now this is the part I'm a little bit worried about and I'm kind of interested to see what happens that is Trey Carson so Trey Carson has been ruled out but he also has been placed on IR okay so he's on injury reserved which means the Detroit Lions will might most likely really not get him back at all so that means the Lions may go get another running back now they actually did sign Paul Perkins from the practice squad onto the active roster once again because you know you need another running back so now we're back to the three running backs McKissick Ty Johnson and Paul Perkins so we'll see how that works out this weekend but I don't know if that'll be a long-term idea for the Detroit Lions because I think Trey Carson may have been that guy but knowing that he's now on IR I don't know if those are the three running backs lines we're going to roll with throughout the entire season. Now, we did work out Jay Ajayi, and some people are like, wait, we didn't even sign him. Okay, you know all the hype, we didn't sign him. But there's also, could make sense that hey, we're not going to sign him because he wasn't going to play this weekend anyways, right? You only get one day of practice, he's probably not going to play. But I would not be surprised if this week after the game, after the Raiders game, no matter what happens, I mean, especially if we win, I would not be surprised. If our running backs don't go off, I would not be surprised to see the Lions go get another free agent running back. Does it have to be Jay? No. It could be another free agent running back, but I would not be surprised the Lions do because I don't know if they necessarily want their long-term option to be those three running backs. They may want someone else in there to mix in, maybe another veteran, something along those lines. I don't know how they feel about Paul Perkins, but so far he hasn't got a lot of attempts. That may mean a little bit with the short lines, but for this game, they kind of have to just fill it in, right? They need another running backs, so they just filled it in with a Paul Perkins, but I don't know necessarily know if that'll be the long-term option. I'm interested to see if it's going to be Jay, if the short lines will go get a Jay, or maybe they'll go, to, go get another free agent running back. We talked about some other ones. There's definitely a lot of options out out there in free agency. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I want to hear your thoughts, comments below. Let me know in the comments, do you think the Lions will make a move to go get a different running back or they'll just stick with these three? Thank you, Pop, for watching, and I'm out.